baby dolls. What is happening this morning? You know, we all got to do what we got to do, right? Am I right? Sometimes you just got to call it quits. Got to go back to our day jobs. We have to be on fry duty. So, however, however, today is not that day. Today is not that day. We are, we're good fam. We are good in so many different ways. It is fun to talk about though. Fun to, fun to go through and realize that uh, we're not screwed. And uh, actually, in my opinion, uh, I still think this thing's going to moon. You know what? What's the opposite of moon? Not that. Let's go with that. Not the opposite of moon. Moon. That's what I like. Moon squared. How about that? That's what I think. Whether it happens or not, who knows? But that's what I think. What's up, Red Squirrel? Number one today, Crypto Toad. God, I can't. I can't not say it. Oh, you got some muscles there, man. You you work out with Chad? Chad of House Donner? Got some muscles going on the photo. Nice. We should uh we should next meet up, we should have like this uh I've suggested uh kickboxing. I'm not like I'm not like a kickboxer or anything. I just think it'd be cool to have events like that. Uh arm wrestling, uh poker nights. We we tried uh, still looking forward to poker night sometime at our local meetups too. We gotta we gotta figure that out. That's gotta be a thing. That sounds really fun, right? You can throw all the other events in there too. We can, maybe, maybe we'll do some local meetups like that or, or some other hexkins uh, in other cities will too. But uh, anyways, got a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff we can work on. Bowling, I do like bowling too. Uh, going out to dinner and all that too. And Pulse Chain Tour has been doing a lot of events and seminars and, and all that. But uh, getting like 2024, really fun. That's what year it is, right? 2024, I think so. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anyways, Fast Abdul, I will I demand immediate price action. I will hold all bribes. Or just bribes. Oh, is that bribes or brides? You're withholding brides? I don't that's not I don't know if I like that. People deserve their brides. Uh what else? All bribes index must be completed in squirrels. All all bribes <laughs> all brides are denominated now in squirrels. That's 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 crypto cryptocurrency. I like it. I could see that. Um Max will probably change the timer to four days as usual. <laughs> Every once in a while, I do wonder. I'm like, man, I just I can't do the stream right now. Either like, you know, I have to reschedule with the person, or I just, you know, I want to push this stream to another day, and I'm just going to do another stream right now. I'm always like, oh man, I hope nobody's like sitting there like, oh, I'm so looking forward to this V3 liquidity stream, liquidity stream. Now I got to wait till next week. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, you know, I do my best here, but I'm not always uh, accurate or able to. Uh, accomplish the timing aspect from time to time. But what's cool about that, Red Squirrel says you work for us. That is actually the opposite as well. Today's opposite day. Is it say April 1st? No. Um, yeah, that is, that's the cool thing. See, I don't work for anyone of you and nobody works for me. And it's a beautiful thing. We just, we're here because we have aligned interest. That's a pretty cool thing. Or we have nowhere else to go. One of those. Uh, anyways, just going through the chat. I'll get it. I got a lot of stuff to cover in a very short amount of time. So I'll get into it in just a second. These comments, you guys have like blown up the comments before I even started. So sir, this is Wendy's. <laughs> I used to do it to uh, Tento Nomini, Mr. Dipcatcher all the time. He'd tweet something. I'd be like, sir, this is Wendy's. Do, do you want the triple baconator with extra pickles or not? It sounds pretty good, right? Armando, what's up, man? Good to see you. Clint Rock, how's it going? What up, what up? Chat of House Donner, that's a guy in the chat. Mr. Crypto Toad, uh, Mr. Crypto Toad 83, who also shares uh, some body features of what I appears to be in your avatar. So, guys, I know you guys probably work out together anyways. So, there's that. If not, I want to check into that. Anyway, 69 people watching. That is a special number in this ecosystem. Uh, Family-friendly show. So, let's get into it. What do we got today? Fun, quick show for you. Let's go with, have you taken a flight to Dubai recently? <laughs> I also hear there's flooding in Dubai, which is also, it's like, is that happening the same time as that crypto conference going on? But it looks like we got a high six uh, siding on, is this Emirates? Emirates Airlines or one of the, one of the airlines. And then uh, even Wendy O taking a picture. <laughs> Are you holding X? And I had to, I had to uh, take a look here. I wanted to search. I was like, is this, you know, I was searching, is this Emirates? Is this, you know, um, you know, what, what's, what flight is this that's showing this? I wonder if they have it on the list of 
movies you can rent or, or whatever online. And I came across this thread, high six movies on flights in, to Token in Dubai. So I guess it's Token 2020. Is that what it is? Token 2024. And then somebody's like, oh, it's Photoshopped. It's real. It's real. You know, free on YouTube. So you can watch on it's on YouTube and stuff. And then, uh, right, let's take a fly. What a joke. And then this one, though, this has will have absolutely zero effect on the RH ecosystem. It's dead in the water. There's no interest or demand. And nothing will change that. After three years, we have a cumbersome, late, shit copy of ETH, which is hard to use and ugly AF. Is it hard to use? I'm not sure you get that point. And if you're hanging your hat and you thought the RH would deploy saxophones and pump the prices, this is a sad state of affairs. What effect did him buying 17 million worth of Pulse X have? Oh, that's right. People dumped and they're worse off than before. Well, I mean, I guess if they dumped, they would have been able to sell and get that order execution. So there's at least that. Just want to be fair on that one. The sharks who have positions waiting for another such event in which they can transfer the sack funds into their wallets. This almost sounds like a pro, I guess, if you're looking to, you know, you know, get get your orders filled in that way. We're in a bull market and these coins have done absolutely nothing but continue to trend downwards. That's just factually, I'm going to call it incorrect on that one because the chart says it went up for a while, at least. I think it's time everyone comes to term with this being a monumental failure. I'm not ready. My body is not ready for that one. My body is ready for a lot of things. It's ready for up only. It's ready for up. It's ready for, I mean, honestly, just if you forget the price chart for a moment, everything else is going up. For the most part, maybe emotions go up and down, but it's 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 one of those, you know, when do I look at the price? Right, I've talked about this before on Twitter and otherwise. When I'm going to buy to see if it hits my too cheap threshold, and otherwise, when I'm going to sell, take profits, or more eloquently move into stable uh, stable uh, pair asset uh, where LP position to get liquidity over time when the price moves up, for example, uh, or if I'm leveraged in some way and I need data to make a decision whether to close or position or stay and all this stuff too. If I'm not doing one of those things, I cannot care about what the price is. And I do not make it, I do not use it to make me feel good or bad on a daily basis. I go out of my way pairing uh, to avoid pairing my emotional state to the price chart as much as possible. So I don't even know what the prices are. Literally, I was, I was prepping for the stream earlier today and I had like, I was just avoiding even looking at the price. I just don't care. I don't want to look at it and then make some judgment call, which has no effect on me whatsoever. Like it has no material effect. So I'm sure if it was up a lot, I would hear it on Twitter and, uh, you know, but I just can't care about this stuff. So what I do care about though, is are we adding new users? Are we adding or losing devs or community members? Uh, are the wells moving thumbs around to prep for bigger moves? Perhaps is the bridge number stable? Is it going up, going down? Are key products launching to enable more healthy games for users to play and lock up more TVL on the network? That kind of stuff I want to pay attention to. And I think it's much more useful, at least for me, my position with my knowledge and my, you know, what I care about to do that instead of looking at charts every day. I'm not a TA guy. So, and, and for me, and I would, I'm going to speculate 99% of other people are in a similar, similar ordeal, you know, ordeal. I say ordeal like it's, it has a negative connotation, a similar, I'm just going to say boat. Uh, T is not a thing anyway. So, you know, for me, I concentrate on ROI on time and uh, energy and it's just not there uh, looking at stuff. So that's why I cannot look at hex prices, pulse chain prices, uh, core coin prices right now. I, I can't care about it. It doesn't do anything for me to care about them today. Yeah. So unless you're timerizing this to sell today, when I, that, that's an individual thing, that's not mine. That's like a whole different thing. Um, so yeah, don't forget don't forget why RH is here, right? Let's go to this real quick. So from my point of view, this is Richard Hart's mission. I'm going to make everyone who believes in what I believe very rich. We're going to fix the world and nobody is going to stop us. That's what I believe. I don't think it's a hard thing to believe either. I think there's a lot of things to add up to that being uh, quite, quite a possibility too. So that doesn't mean there's any certainty in, in anything. But it just means that, hey, and it, this isn't like anyone who buys Hex or anyone who does this. This is believes in what I believe. This could mean a lot of different things, right? It could mean, you know, again, all the principles, all the, um, you know, privacy and freedom of speech, all the stuff too. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it there. And yeah, I just don't think it's very useful to 
to look at all the, I, I don't know. It, it, it is up to individuals. It really is like, there's some people who aren't getting their needs met in this ecosystem. I, I can imagine, right? You probably talk to them, but there's no guarantee that everyone's time horizon, everyone's needs, everyone's, you know, expectations, right? Will be met or should be met. It's not how the universe works, right? So don't get all spiritual, philosophical or anything like that. I'm just saying in general, it's, uh, yeah. Again, I'm here to get a fair shot, a fair shot to get rich, richer, wealthy, wealthier, all that type of stuff. Have a community that cares about things that are actually uh, helping the world. That's why I'm here. So everyone's everyone's sat on their own, but I'm I'm good. I'm good here. So let's pivot into from the highest of stakes. Uh, you know, we talked about that too. Uh, that being hopefully have a lot of viewers there to the lowest of stakes. Oh my gosh. So there is now a lowest of stakes.com, which is in the same, the same, you know, font. It looks like, you know, or as close as possible. We have a new documentary. Um, I talked to uh, Hexy bastard and um, what's his name? Hex for life, I believe. And uh, I think they even showed that, you know, like there's money gang. <laughs> money gang's in there. <laughs> oh man. I just think it's fun. Like it's one of those fun things that I think uh, ecosystem. Yeah, hopefully it'll be. Uh, I think did did they say they showed it to RD three and I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything because I. Yeah, but I think uh, I don't know. I hope it'll be like a fun, entertaining uh, thing for for people to uh, to watch and get some get some relief if you are like oh yeah price is down right now but yeah you know we're we like to, we still have, like to have fun here oh man. It looks like they put a lot of time, energy, and effort into making something fun. So I'm excited about that. So uh, can't wait to see it. I think it's coming out probably soon. Uh, looks like I know the trailer came out a while back, but I'll put this in chat because anyone's interested in that. A lot of uh, fun community stuff going on there. And what else? We got a lot of stuff. We got so also, let me talk about AI real quick. So people who are interested in that, again, I have AI training. Um, I call it a training. You can call it what you want. It. Five day stream at AI week. Go to go real DeFi, learn to earn, click AI. If you want to learn about AI and how to do stuff in crypto and content creation and tokenomics and different stuff like that. Check that out. Go real DeFi, learn to earn AI. First link with the middle arm. And if you want to get updated, I was looking around because there's a lot of different GPTs and all different stuff going on. If you want to get updated on uh, different stuff coming out with ChatGPT, for example, this is a really good newsletter. There's very few. I try to keep my feed low, uh, uh, high signal, low noise. And I really only subscribe or, um, you know, get, get newsletters or other things that really keep me informed about stuff I care about and like that are just really good information. So what plugin is really good? Um, actually, they let me know, or was it they either tweeted or a newsletter that you could edit images on GPT, which is a game changer. I was actually using another service. That's really good, but I think I'm going to stop using that service now that I can actually edit and um, change different images when I generate them for thumbnails and stuff. And I found out about it through this newsletter, so it's like super helpful. And they talk about a bunch of other things going on AI and you know different releases and comparisons and you know OpenAI is in Japan now and uh, Devon, which is supposed to replace software engineer stuff. Like they have some commentary on that. Gemini updates. Um, different stuff with TikTok and new GPT. This is what I originally was searching and wanted to get updates on is I want to know when new GPTs come out that are relevant to stuff I'm working on because some things I want to do, the GPT is available. Just, they either don't do them very well or they're just not available. Uh, like it's just not a feature yet, but there's so much, so many people building and releasing new stuff all the time. If you go, there's no like new, I mean, there's a new feed where they try to highlight stuff, but there's no way to really get access and figure this stuff out really quickly. So I came across this newsletter searching for how, like I want a place that will tell me the new GPTs that are coming out and if they're good and you know, kind of do that curation for me. And this is one that does it. So I uh, really like this newsletter. If you want to learn about, if you want to sub to somebody on YouTube, that's uh you know, high, high uh, signal, low noise. This guy's really good. Matthew Berman. Uh, so at Matthew underscore Berman on YouTube. He is really good. He does all kinds of videos. Like he'll take a, a video that's very technical and he'll break it down, put commentary on it, 
he's always covering the latest AI devices and like agents. And I learned a lot from watching a lot of his videos and just his commentary on other videos. Like some of some videos they will come out, you know, as a technical person, I can understand a lot of things they're talking about or re at least relate them and be easier to understand them. But I sometimes I prefer to watch his video and his commentary on it because, you know, it's like getting someone who knows a lot about AI to, to kind of like tell you what's important about the video too. So anyways, this guy's really good and uh, really glad I came across him. It's like, I think a video just about every day, every day or every other day, he has a video talking about something interesting that's going on. I learned about Grok uh, and different stuff with, with his channel too. So yeah, Matthew Berman, really good, uh, really good channel. I'll put his, I'll put his YouTube in the chat. So there is your AI briefing. A couple of things uh, there. Again, really good channel to learn from and really good newsletter uh, if you like, like email newsletters and stuff. So this guy is uh, pretty underrated to Dario. Yeah, shout out to Dario uh, uh, Chincha. Really cool newsletter. Appreciate it. So again, AI, learn to earn AI on Google DeFi. Pulse Chain Conference. Uh, it's coming up soon. I want to cover that. The anniversary conference, May 10th through 13th. So Pulse Chain launched relatively speaking, uh, May 12th, uh, so be May 13th and other parts of the world and stuff. But Pulse Chain Conference coming up, um, I have submitted to uh, be a part of it again, speak at it, whatever, whatever they want to do there. So that'll be, that'll be fun. Uh, so it's coming up pretty soon. Yeah, with uh, under a month, we got what, three weeks or so. So that'll be awesome. Always a good time, always uh, produce a lot of good content. So you can check that out. Um, yeah, make sure uh, it's on Matty Allen's uh, YouTube channel. He's got a playlist here for all the stuff. And again, it'll be 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th pack full of speakers and content, all the things like that. So very cool. Very interested to uh, look at that. And let me talk to chat real quick. And I just got one other thing to cover. I'll talk about before we uh, close up. What? I know. You got, I, I don't want to say you got competition, Chad, because you're, you're 18 pack. Or your sorry, your sixty nine pack is is pretty much perfection in that in that uh, image you have there. However, Crypto Toe Hat, oh man, makes me want to go watch a Black Sheep movie. Um, he's he seems to have some he's got some biceps going on too. He's got some uh, traps. When I say traps, it makes me think of Corey too. He's got some traps, biceps, triceps, quad, quad, quadceps. I'm not sure all the parts, the muscles for the arm there, but he's got some going on. A ton of exotic cars with fun damage by the hit market. I saw, man, that's so crazy. During the time of the crypto conference and stuff too, right? So crazy. Richard's face all over him, right? A lot of coincidence. Oh man, squirrel, were you hitting low on that one? I'm not. That was. It's kind of funny though. You say it, say it like that. It's always the 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 the, the wettest before the storm. It's all like, yeah. If I can turn that one around. After three years, we're not even close. To <laughs> oh, as as Richard's famous quote, the chat is mean as hell. That's uh, that's pretty that's pretty fun. We no, we had a conference. There was PulseCon before it even launched. Don't forget about that. There was a conference. I remember. I think that was the first conference I went to. Was PulseCon in 2023, which, again, as a network event too, um, was just I met so many cool people there. I'm really glad it happened. I mean, it was like you know, not a lot of controversy and all that stuff, but. Man, you got to meet a lot of people and, and uh, meeting people in real life is just, it's amazing. I love streaming with people and stuff, but once you meet them in real life, it's like, oh, well, there's just something about it as a, as a natural experience. It just, you feel better. Uh, yeah, it, it, feel, it feels good. Human relationships, nice. All right. Hex postcard sign contest. Sign. Yeah, I saw um, somebody else. Hex Geta has been making postcards. Yeah, I think I retweeted one actually too. Let me go to Twitter real quick. I'll wrap up here in just a couple minutes. Uh, really cool designs. So there's this. No, not that one. It looks like that. Yeah, so this one for Hex. Yeah, shout out to Hex Geta. Really uh, does a lot of good, uh, you know, Maximus stuff, looking to maxi.com and all that stuff too. But now working on some cool art. And let's see, I think I liked it. I actually re replied with some, he asked me for some feedback on, yeah, this one. 
which is pretty cool. So really cool stuff. So hopefully you get some more, you know, remember uh, outbound messaging? Remember that? Still a thing. We're bringing it back. We're making it cool again. A lot of cool uh, postcards. And uh, yeah, it looks like some postcards design contest here too. So hopefully you can get some more outbound messaging and cool stuff going on there. What's up, Duke? Welcome. Crypto Compassion. Good to see you, man. Crypto Bigfoot. How's it going? Pulse Chain could be marked as the first VC available to average Joe investor. First VC available. Oh, huh, interesting. Yeah. I wonder if there is an angle there to be like, you know, instead of being an accredited investor, you know, I, I did. So I posted on here too. Let's see. I posted it because he wanted some of these. So like the, the percentage gains. And also I made some a while back too. Pulse Chain versus Solana. I did, uh, I think, PulseX versus Pancake Swap, Hex versus Bitcoin. Did a few different ones. Should, should I do an ink one? Ink versus, uh, I don't know, what would be a good ink one to compare to? You guys let me know. What would I compare? Be able to show a you know a clear, superior, superior product with ink versus some kind of counterpart that's somewhat related, somewhat, you know, interesting. That it's actually beating in some, in some category, preferably. Because this the whole idea is to try to promote you know air products from it. To be, it's gonna be a little biased. I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, this is I'm not gonna leave out all the I'm gonna make it steal good information, but obviously it's gonna be biased. Because is there any reason not to be a little biased when you're creating content for your ecosystem? Like being objective, but with a little bit of bias, I think it's I think it's fine. I think that's a healthy balance versus some things I see are just like, wow, like Ethereum sucks. It's like Ethereum's pretty good. I just like Pulse better, but I don't think Ethereum. I don't think Bitcoin sucks either. It just doesn't do what I need it to do. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna do a, a thousand X, right? So, anyways, I think you can be respectful, do comparisons, maybe be a little biased, show highlight, you know, highlight your good stuff, market your product, right? Happily buying the blood. I hear you. I hear you. I talked about that the last few days. I think a lot of people are, a lot of people are picking, uh, you know. A lot of people leaving the ecosystem, maybe picking up some some coins. Cake? Yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is cake. I wonder if there's any other ones too. Because there's a lot of comparisons with Pulse X and Cake too. But it's kind of like, okay, which one do more people know about versus is there which one's more accurate comparison? Is it okay to compare things that are kind of different, but like people are still, you know, there's a lot going on. But Pulse Chain SCI. I think I did a, did I do, I compared, man, I did something like that, didn't I? I thought I did versus SUI. Is that what you're saying? SEI or SUI? There's two different ones there. But anyways, uh, so we consider Pulse Code 10 to 10 30 hearing. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be, that's going to be cool. If we get, you know, we get hundreds of people hanging out there. That's going to be, that's going to be cool. That's, you know, we could we could we could win just like in the movies. We could just the people have spoken, right? Like that'd be cool to have some moments like that this this fall. I hope so. All right, everyone. Uh, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate you all in the chat. Can't get to everything right now, but uh, hanging in there, you know, hang in there. I think there's a lot of things to be excited about. We talked about just about every day on the show. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully, I have a banger for you tomorrow. I'm gonna work on some. I have some guests on the show and some some good content too, but that's all I got for you today. Sci-Vibe and 5555. We are out.